Same engine, same hardware, same internals, completely different oil on opposite sides of the world. Your car's manual might not be telling you the full story. Is it regulations, climate, engineering, or something automakers don't openly admit? The truth behind 020 in the US and 5W30 in Europe is more revealing than most people realize. And once you understand it, you'll never look at an oil bottle the same way again. When you look at an oil bottle that reads 0W20 or 5W30, you're not just seeing random numbers. You're looking at a viscosity code defined by the SAPE. The number before the W is the winter flow rating. How runny the oil is when your engine is stone cold at 6 A M. In January, the lower the number, the faster it pumps, the less where during those critical first 30 seconds of startup. The number after the dash is the hot viscosity. How thick it stays when your engine is screaming down the highway at 200 degrees Fahrenheit oil temperature. A 20 weight is dramatically thinner than a 30 weight when hot. We're talking the difference between skim milk and heavy cream at full operating temp. Why does that matter? Because thinner hot oil equals less drag on every moving part. Less drag equals the engine uses slightly less fuel to spin itself. And on the ultra-repeatable, robot-driven EPA fuel economy test cycles, switching from 5W, 30 to 0W, 20 can gain you anywhere from 0.6 to 1.8% better mileage. For you and me, that's basically one extra trip to the gas station per year. For a company that sells 3 million Camrys, that tiny percentage means they avoid hundreds of millions in cafe fines. That's corporate average fuel economy. The U.S. law that says if your fleet average doesn't hit the government target, you pay massive penalties. The cheapest, fastest, zero-risk way to cheat a little more MPG on the test? Spec 0W20. That's literally it. It's not about making your engine live longer. In many cases, it's the opposite. Because here's the uncomfortable truth. To make an oil that's super thin when hot, but still forms a protective film under load, lubricant companies have to load it with long-chain polymer viscosity index improvers. Those polymers act like tiny springs. They uncoil when hot to keep the oil from getting too thin. But every time your engine shears those polymers, think 7,000 revolutions per minute red lines, towing a trailer up a mountain pass, or 120 miles per hour Autobahn runs, the springs get chopped shorter. After 80,000 to 100,000 miles, a lot of 0W-20S have permanently dropped to the viscosity of a 10 weight or lower. That's why you see so many 0W-20 for life, engines with scored bearings and chain were issues on the forums. Over there, the ACA oil standards, A3-B4, A5-B5, C3, etc., are brutal. They demand much higher high-temperature high shear, HDHS, viscosity. The real measure of how strong the oil film is when bearings are trying to punch through it. Many 0W, 20 formulations simply cannot pass ACA's long-term shear stability and piston cleanliness tests, especially when you're running 18,000 to 30,000 mile. Oil change intervals on the Autobahn with a diesel particulate filter that dumps soot back into the crankcase. So European spec versions of the exact same engine get approved for 0W, 30, 5W, 30, or even 0W, 40. And guess what? They often last longer in real-world severe service. Let's look at some dead obvious examples that make it impossible to deny. Toyota's 2.5-liter A25A FKS dynamic force engine. Camry, RAV4, Lexus ES North American manual says 0W. 20 API SN Plus, or ILSAC only. European manual for the exact same engine? Toyota Genuine Motor Oil 0W. 30 ACA C2 or 5W. 30 ACA A5 slash B5. Same bore, same stroke, same compression ratio, same hybrid system. Mazda Skyactiv G 2.5T CX 5 CX 9 Mazda 6 US equals 0W. 20 only. Europe equals 5W, 30 ACA A5 slash B5 recommended, 0W, 20 merely, acceptable, if unavailable. Honda 1.5T Earth Dreams slash L15B7, Civic, CRV, Accord American Honda screams 0W, 20 or warranty voided. European Honda, 0W, 20 is listed, but 5W, 30 ACA A5 slash B5 is fully approved 
and often recommended for high load conditions. Ford EcoBoost 2.3L Mustang Focus RS Ranger US Spec WSS M2C913 D equals 5W30. Wait, Ford actually specs thicker oil in the US for this engine because they couldn't hit durability targets with 0W20. Meanwhile, their 1.0L EcoBoost in Europe runs 5W30 Asia A5. Consistency? Zero. Then you have the brands that refuse to play this game. BMW has stuck with LL01, usually 0W30 or 0W40 worldwide for decades. Mercedes LL01 or newer to 29.5-2, 29.51, same story. Porsche A40, same oil whether the car is in Phoenix or Oslo. Hyundai Kia SmartStream engines often list both 0W, 20 and 5W, 30 globally with no drama. These companies decided they'd rather eat a tiny cafe penalty than gamble on long-term reliability. So when your US spec Toyota tells you 0W, 20 or else, understand what's really happening. The car was optimized to pass a government fuel economy test on a dyno in a lab, not to live 300,000 miles while towing boats in Texas heat. The engine itself doesn't care. It's the same hunk of aluminum wherever it's sold. The difference is who the manufacturer is more afraid of. The EPA and class action lawyers in America or owners who drive 150 miles per hour year-round and expect 500,000 kilometers without opening the hood in Europe. Why the same car engine often calls for 0W, 20 in America, but 5W, 30, or 0W, 30 in Europe, and why neither side is necessarily wrong when you compare owners' manuals for the exact same engine. Say a 2.0-liter turbo four-cylinder sold in both a Honda Civic Type R and a Civic Tourer, or a BMW 330i in the US versus the European 320i, you'll frequently notice a puzzling difference in recommended motor oil viscosity. North American versions almost always specify ultra-thin 0W, 20, while the European counterpart demands 5W, 30, or 0W, 30 meeting strict ACA AE3-B4, A5-B5, or C3 standards. Enthusiasts love to argue about which one is better, but the truth is far more pragmatic. The two regions have evolved completely different priorities, testing protocols, driving conditions, and ownership habits. The oil isn't chosen because the engine magically changes when it crosses the Atlantic. It's chosen because the expected use case changes dramatically. Drastically different certification drive cycles, the United States certifies fuel economy and emissions using the EPA Federal Test Procedure, FTP, 75, and Highway Fuel Economy Test, cycles that are comparatively gentle, short, and predictable. Peak speeds rarely exceed 60 miles per hour, accelerations are modest, and engine load is low most of the time. Automakers discovered years ago that dropping from 5W, 30 to 0W. 20 can improve CAFE numbers by 0.3 to 0.8% with almost no measurable durability penalty under these conditions. That tiny gain, multiplied across millions of vehicles, saves billions in potential CAFE fines. Europe switched to the far more severe Worldwide Harmonized Light Vehicles Test Procedure, WLTP, in 2017 to 2019. The WLTP cycle is longer, 30 minutes versus 20, reaches 81 miles per hour, includes prolonged high load phases, and generates significantly higher oil sump temperatures, often 15 to 25 degrees Celsius hotter than the EPA cycle. Under real-world Autobahn validation runs, oil temps can stay above 130 degrees Celsius for extended periods. In those conditions, many 0W, 20 formulations begin to shear and lose viscosity faster than desired. So manufacturers move to a higher high temperature viscosity, HDHS greater than or equal to 3.5 MPAS, oil, typically a true 5W, 30, or a shear stable 0W30. Real world speed and distance differences the average American drives about 13,500 miles per year, largely in urban and suburban stop and go traffic. Sustained triple digit speeds are rare outside of a few Western states. In Germany alone, the Kraft Fart Bundesamt reports average annual mileage closer to 15,000 to 18,000 kilometers for gasoline cars 
and well over 30,000 kilometers for company diesels. More importantly, a huge percentage of those miles are accumulated at 120 to 160 kilometers per hour, 75 to 100 miles per hour, or higher on de-restricted autobots. That kind of steady state, high RPM operation creates oil shear and thermal stress that most U.S. drivers never experience. When bearing temperatures climb and stay high for hours, you want an oil whose kinematic viscosity at 100 degrees Celsius doesn't collapse. Service interval expectations European manufacturers pioneered long-lift service schedules in the 1990s. Volkswagen 500-400-50700 BMW long-lift 04 Mercedes 229.51 and Porsche C30 approvals are all built around 30,000 kilometers or two-year intervals, roughly 18,600 miles. The oil has to resist oxidation, control soot, and diesels, and maintain TBN for that entire period. Most U.S. owners still change oil every 5,000 to 7,500 miles regardless of what the oil life monitor says, a habit reinforced by quick lube marketing and dealership service departments that profit from frequent visits. Because the oil is refreshed so often, base oil quality and additive robustness can be slightly relaxed in favor of maximum fuel economy. Legacy of diesel and after-treatment systems, even though diesel market share is falling, Europe spent two decades as the global capital of passenger car diesel engines. Those engines produce far more soot than gasoline direct injection units, and virtually all modern European vehicles, gas or diesel, are equipped with gasoline particulate filters, GPF, or diesel particulate filters, DPF. These filters are extremely sensitive to ash-forming additives, calcium, magnesium, zinc. That's why ACAC category oils, C2, C3, C5, etc., are mid or low saps and dominate the continent. American gasoline engines rarely see meaningful soot loads and almost never have particulate filters, so formulators can use higher levels of traditional anti-wear and detergency packages without clogging anything. Warranty and legal realities a persistent myth claims that using 5W, 30 instead of 0W, 20, or vice versa, automatically voids your warranty. In both the U.S. Magnuson Moss Warranty Act and EU Block Exemption Regulation, the burden is on the manufacturer to prove that your oil choice caused the failure. If the oil meets or exceeds the required performance specification, APISP, ILSAC, GF, 6A, ACIA A5-B5, VW50400, etc. Viscosity alone is not grounds for denial. The catch, most 0W, 20 oils sold in the U.S. do not carry the European OEM approvals, and most European 5W, 30S are not Dexos 1 Gen 3 licensed. So you usually can T just pour one into the other market S car without losing the exact spec on the cap. Modern engine design actually favors lower viscosity. When conditions allow today's engines have plasma sprayed or DLC coated bearings, diamond like carbon coatings on piston rings, variable displacement oil pumps, and much tighter clearances than even 10 years ago. These hardware changes were made possible by the simultaneous arrival of ultra low viscosity oils. A well formulated 0W, 20 flows faster on cold start, reducing where 70 to 80% compared to 10W40 builds pressure quicker and reduces pumping losses. But all of those benefits assume the oil stays in grade for the intended interval under the intended loads, when the wrong oil can actually hurt. Pour a typical North American 0W, 20, APISP only, no ACA rating, into a European spec VWA 888 Gen 3 running 30,000 km intervals on the Autobahn, and you risk faster timing chain wear, LSBI events in hot conditions, and oil consumption once the additives deplete. Conversely, running a heavy low saps ACSC 35W 30 in a 2025 Honda K 20C turbo expecting 0W 20 can slightly reduce fuel economy, increase oil pump parasitic loss, and in extreme cold climates, minus 30 degrees Celsius, delay oil pressure buildup at startup. Neither viscosity is universally better. North America optimized for regulatory fuel economy tests, short owner driven oil changes and low average loads 0W. 20 makes perfect sense. 
Europe optimized for Autobahn durability, extremely long service intervals, diesel legacy, and strict after-treatment life 5W30 or robust 0W30 is the rational choice. If you live in Texas and mostly drive in city traffic, your US spec car will probably live a long and happy life on 0W. 20 changed every 6,000 miles. If you live in Germany, rack up 40,000 kilometers a year at 150 kilometers per hour and follow the factory long life schedule, you want the thicker, longer life European formulation. The engine itself doesn't care about continents. It cares about temperature, load, soot, and how long the oil is forced to survive. Match the oil to your actual driving conditions and service habits, not just the sticker under the hood, and you'll be fine.